This is the J-29D, and this is another one of those planes that sort of gets overlooked and kind of slept on. But is it actually really good, or is it just kind of average? Today, maybe we'll find that out. Now don't get me wrong, there are definitely better tech tree planes at this battle rating, however, I wouldn't underestimate one of these things if you run into one in a match. Before we get into the performance though, what is this thing? This is the J-29D. The J-29D is a rank 5 battle rating 8.7 fighter for Sweden, a premium fighter for Sweden. And if you don't have this, you can no longer buy it. It is no longer available for purchase because it was removed from the Gaijin store after War Thunder's 9th anniversary sale. But to be honest, I wouldn't rule out the possibility of Gaijin adding it back to the store at some point. So if you want to buy it, there is still hope. And to be honest, I'll probably be one of those people buying it. That's right, I don't actually have this plane, but God just let me take it for a test drive for a week, so you're getting a video. So let's talk about this thing. The J-29D is, for lack of a better description, sort of a sleeper. Like, look at it. This thing looks like it would fly terribly. Look at its big old belly. But in reality, it's actually pretty competitive at 8.7, and there's a couple of reasons why. The first and most important thing is that it holds its energy really, really well through maneuvers. It's not uncommon that I've surprised MiG-15 Biz pilots with how well this thing holds its energy. It doesn't hold its energy quite as well as a MiG-15 Biz, but it's pretty close. And I feel like the only reason it doesn't completely is because of the slightly worse power to rate ratio of the J-29D compared to the MiG-15 Biz. The J-29D does produce more thrust, it's just a much heavier aircraft. So that afterburn doesn't quite make up for it but what the J-29D does have that the MiG-15 Biz doesn't have is an actual good roll rate. Now you may not be able to pull high AOA, but you can do that Sabre roll which is extremely useful in defensive situations. Speaking of the Sabre, I might as well compare the J-29 to that too, specifically the F-2 Sabre. The J-29D sort of fits in a neat little spot between the performance of the MiG-15 Biz and an F-86 F Sabre. The J-29D has a slightly higher thrust to weight ratio than an F-2 Sabre, but a slightly lower thrust to weight ratio than the MiG-15 Biz. It has a worse roll rate than an F Sabre, but it has a better roll rate than the MiG-15 Biz. The J-29 will fight better in the vertical than the F-86 Sabre, but it won't fight as good in the vertical as the MiG-15 Biz. The only thing the J-29D does worse than both the F-86 F-2 Sabre and the MiG-15 Biz is it has a slightly lower top speed, but it's close enough to both that it really won't make a difference. Next, I want to talk about these guns. This plane is equipped with four 30mm 8 inch cannons, and they do some hefty damage. Of course, they are 30mm cannons after all, and you have four of them. But for a lot of players, problems tend to arise because there aren't any tracers with any of the ammo belts with these guns. I believe the tracers were in game at some point in the past, but they were removed. And I'm pretty sure this is only the case with Swedish aircraft. And I know with later and more advanced Swedish aircraft, the planes were equipped with lead indicating radars that help the pilots aim without tracers in real life, but obviously that function's not in game at the moment. I wasn't having too much trouble aiming these things, but there definitely were times I kind of wish I knew where my bullets were going relative to the plane I was shooting at. Luckily, the bullet velocity of these guns is high enough to where aiming really wasn't that much of a problem. And sometimes the fact that the enemy can't see where your bullets are going is almost an advantage in some ways especially when you're shooting at an enemy head-on from very long range. If you guys are regulars at this channel, you guys know I'd like to take a lot of long-range head-ons and pull off, because it's really, really satisfying when you get one of those delayed kills two seconds after you fired your guns. So what about the general flight performance of this thing? First, the positives. The J-29D retains its speed very, very well. You're going to be able to out-energy a lot of the planes you see. This plane also has very, very good guns, though a little bit tricky to aim sometimes. It's got a solid roll rate, solid engine, with an afterburner of course. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but the combat flaps don't rip until almost 800 kilometers an hour. Only thing is though, they really don't tighten your turning circle by that much. But of course they still help. And what about the downsides to this aircraft? Well, there really aren't that many. But there are a couple of things you need to keep in mind while flying this thing. First off, don't let the afterburner fool you. Yeah, it makes pretty good engine power, but even though it has that afterburner, a MiG-17 without an afterburner or a MiG-15 Biz, they're going to have a higher thrust to weight ratio than your J-29D does, even with the afterburner ignited. So basically, just don't get too confident. A MiG-15 Biz pilot who knows what they're doing will probably humble you. I know this from experience because I've gotten dogged on a couple times. 
The other downside to this thing is its matchmaker. Now, 8.7 is pretty much as high as you want to go as far as bearable matchmaking goes at the moment in War Thunder. Up tiers do kind of happen pretty frequently, and when you do, you're just not going to be able to catch anything. Of course, you can still get a good amount of kills, it's just there's always going to be one or two players that are just running away postponing the match end. Honestly, I don't know why I call this a downside of the plane, because it's really not the plane, it's really just the way War Thunder works, but nevertheless, it is something you still have to worry about. Oh, and also, I guess the ammo count isn't that great, but just have some triggered for discipline, you'll be alright. Okay, I don't really have much else to say about this plane, but I'm sure you've noticed this cool user skin. It's of course a Minecraft grass block, and I thought it was kind of funny, so I'm going to link the uh, War Thunder Live link in the description. And I think that's going to be about it. Let me know what you guys think of the J29D. Do you have it? Do you like it? Do you want it? Let me know in the comments. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.